Kalen, the big difference tonight, you were still on the floor at the end of this ball game. How, how, what was the plan going into tonight to try and stay in this thing and not foul out? Definitely not foul out. Play good defense and uh, just do what I can on offense. All of a sudden, in, late in the fourth quarter, they, they started finding you and you started going to work. Um, what, what was the key there? Um, really, my girl had four fouls, so I was really trying to go at her and just get her out. Just uh, sub people in and out. So, Caitlin, can you just walk us through the amount of effort that it takes to have a game like this? Uh, I, clearly, you, you went up for a rebound late, had a cramp. Uh, you know, they had to walk you off the court. You had to come back in and try and finish this game. What type of effort does it take uh, to put together a 31-8 and eight, uh, to help your team win a, a colossal conference matchup? I mean, I have to thank my, play, like, my teammates because they're the ones getting me the ball. But um, they're going down with a cramp. We just had to rub it, out, rub it out as much as possible and just suck it up. <laughs> In the third quarter, they really looked like they were taking control on you. How, how did y'all stay in this thing? I think everyone just started contributing. Like, we were not just me, but, like, everyone was hitting shots, and I think that really helps. When everyone is able to score, it's hard to guard any of us. How much better does this one feel compared to the loss at Clarksville? Very much better. <laughs> Caitlin, you, you know Carly Pace from last year. She's had such a great career in the OVC. She had a great game the first time around tonight. A little bit different. She took as many shots but wasn't nearly as effective offensively. What was the defensive game plan for someone like her? I know they're more than just her, but she is kind of a catalyst of their offense. How did you guys take her away tonight? Um, it was really Lex's defense. Uh, first game, first half, she, uh, she had five threes, but – um, second half, she really locked in on defense, and she didn't really score that much. So Lex just had to come in with that that mindset again of trying to get her to shoot the harder shots, you could say. Any other questions, Caitlin? My only other question, from a rebounding perspective, in a tight game like this, that rebounding total just looks so colossal. Easy thing to circle for you guys. When you're getting eight, nine rebounds a game and Hannah McKay's out of 12, and then you've got Alexis Burpo, who is a 3-4 hybrid, picking up, you know, a casual 11 rebounds, what is it like to have that third rebounder that's really helping you guys make a difference in these in, in the board game? It's, it's nice because she's, she's a guard, guard so, so she'll, she'll be on the outside. outside. Like, me and Hannah can push them out down low, but she's, she's able to, like, come in, especially most of our guards. They're able, me and Hannah box them out, and they're able to come and get the rebounds.